Hi folks, this is all the fruit and I'm in a garden slash plantation of mangosteen or mangis as they like to say here in Malaysia. I think mangis is the traditional word and mangosteen is something Europeanized or maybe it's coming from a different region. Definitely here most people say mangis. This is like a big well, big, maybe about 20 trees in the agricultural park in Tenom. And despite the fact that they have been harvesting them, I see bamboo poles here and there. They use them to break off the single fruit. Despite the fact that somebody has been harvesting them, they haven't picked most of them. Well, unfortunately, the season is almost over. So there are just a few quite small fruit on those trees. Here I got one. The mangosteen. Garcinia mangostina has a, one feature which is quite common for mangosteens and uh, for garcinias and one which is quite rare. The common feature is this yellow sap. Stay away from it at all costs. It will stick your teeth together and it will coat them for days and it's supposed to be very unhealthy. And the uncommon feature is that the mangosteen rind is incredibly disgusting. So this fruit already has a disgusting toxic yellow sap, a disgustingly tasting uh, red rind, but it's still considered the queen of fruits and the tastiest fruit in the world by many. Why? Well, those things which look like little cloves of garlic, tasty, vine. Mm, what shall I describe it? Mild, a mild sourness, a mild sweetness. Mm, but such a wonderful combination of sourness and sweetness and the mild, very mild fruity flavor. It's crazy that such a mild fruit is considered the tastiest fruit in the world by many and the queen of fruits. Usually it's better to have a knife and opening it or you'll make a horrible mess of yourself. But right now I'm opening it with one hand and without the knife. Yeah, you basically take out those arrows. Mm. Since those fruits are fresh off the tree, they are perfect. Mm. Mm. All the tree, all the fruit like this one, the sap cannot only percolate to the outside, but also to the inside and infuse the arrows with this yellow sap and then even the arrows become disgusting, but fresh off the tree. The fruit is in perfect condition, oops, uh, until you squeeze it. And that's how you should eat it. Not squeezing it, but off the tree and in perfect condition. Mm. Mangosteen is one of those fruit I never buy well in Europe because uh, first the quality of a fruit with such a short shelf life is... Mm, no, first the price of a fruit with such a short shelf life is very high because they'll have to throw away most of it before it can be sold. Mm. Mm. And second, because of the short shelf life, a lot of the fruit they are selling are actually not in prime shape anymore. Uh, ah, look here, even while still on the tree, the latex went between the arrows, so I will skip on this one. Let's try one of those fruit which are on the ground. Okay, the outer rind is hard. That means the fruit is not good anymore. Here the same thing. When you buy mangosteens and the outer rind is hard and those sepals are drying up, don't buy them. Here we have one which is not completely ripe, but the outer sepals are already quite brown. This is partially due to bruising. Oh, the mosquitoes are eating me alive. This is partially due to bruising, but this fruit is still in perfect condition. The sap has percolated outwards, but not inwards between the arrows. Mm. So the quality and taste of the Aerial system. Mm. There are so many incredibly tasty fruit in Borneo. 
but I definitely agree that the mangosteen is the queen of fruit. Well, the king of fruit, a lot of people will tell you it's the mango, others will tell you it's the durian. Those are the two main contestants. Mm. Mm. But I don't think that anybody has ever challenged the position of the mango steam as the queen of fruit. Well, so folks, this was the mango steam, the queen of fruit. Unfortunately, mostly small fruit because the bigger ones mm, are already littering the ground. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful island of Borneo. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.